Hi everyone. So today is uh, the 8th of January 2024. A lot of people who took the CFA November exam might have a little bit of uh, anxiety or excited uh, about the results coming up on Wednesday, right? So it's coming out on the 10th, particularly for CFA level one, that is confirmed date. So in just a day. So I want to put this video out and to just guide you what to do after your results, right? So a lot, first of all, uh, you have done what not a lot of people will do. That is, you have attempted CFA level one. See, if, uh, people who start to prep for CFA level one, from anecdotal and from what we have seen, almost 40% of the people fall out. They decide not to take the CFA level one exam. You have taken the exam, and that by itself is a good thing, right? You have studied, you have studied 10 topics, and you felt confident enough to take the exam. Good job. Now, after the results, if you have passed, that's great. Congratulations. You are on your way to becoming a charter holder. And in the next step of your journey, you need to think about your CFA level two prep. So right now is January, so you can definitely do the August or the November 2024. The May is uh, going to be very challenging unless you've already started preparing so let's assume you are going to be thinking of either the august or november which is what 99.9 percent .9 of the people are going to be doing and in that case you should you should start the prep right away right because if you're taking august your early enrollment is going to end very soon so you need to start preparing and give a few uh, module test or a topic test and see if you are ready for the August. If not, then you have to move to your November. But to even make that call, start your prep right away. So, I mean, depending on your prep provider, they should have a class. Here at Finn Trainers, we just have this batch starting right after the results, just for this people uh, who have taken the exam in November. All right. Now, if, first of all, again whether you pass or fail this is not a deal breaker but if you have failed nothing to worry about right see where you are on the score spectrum so they're gonna say this is your minimum passing score or mps see where you landed are you just below the mps are you significantly below the mps where are you okay now if you're just below the mps that's great if you uh, are able to recollect the topics, then just go ahead and take the exam in May. Re-schedule, uh, I mean, schedule your exam for May 2024 and finish it off right away, right? And if you need help, we have a three-month crash course for CFA Level 1 intensive prep, you know, 200 hours crammed into three and a half months. You will be right and ready and raring to go for your CFA Level 1 in May. Now, if you are significantly below the MPS, then there are, depending on the answer to this question, did you study enough? That is, did you study 500, 600 hours? And then are you still below? Or did you not put in the effort? Did you only study for 200, 300 hours? And then you got really low score. If you put in 200, 300 hours and you got a very low score, that is to be expected that can be corrected. So then you take the time, prepare well, take the exam in August. That is probably the best option for you. Study for the next six, seven months, take a, a lot of mock exams, practice test, and this time you crack it, right? Uh, this is doable. If you have uh, studied really hard, that's you know 700, 800 hours, and then you failed, and not only, uh, not just fail, like, I mean, like the scenario where you're just below MPS, that's fine. But if you're significantly below, like really lower, uh, and you are put in a lot of effort, then we need to really uh, think back and see if CFA fits into your uh, framework. Like, do you really need to become a charter holder? Is this something that you're 
office, your workplace is asking you to do, and then you come to us and then we will guide you. But if this is something that you are trying to do to just get a, a global designation, well-respected finance designation, maybe there are other options, right? So you can think about the uh, financial modeling course and other options that are there. Again, do reach out to us about those various avenues that you can uh, go on and make yourself a success in financial career, right? So there are other options. CFA obviously is the gold standard when it comes to financial career. But if there are other avenues that are better suited for you, we can definitely explore those, all right? Either way, again, for you to go sit for the CFA level one exam and take it, that by itself, you have taken a lot of effort and you're putting that uh, time to go there and do it. So I wish you all the very best. I look forward to celebrating with you all after the 10th. And either way, <coughs> reach out to us. We will guide you and help you in your journey to become a charter holder.